Andy Nyo went out and was recording Antifa as usual, and it was absolutely insane as usual. So some evangelicals were gathered outside discussing the Lord, you know, having a nice service, yeah. and Antifa decided it was the best opportunity to show up. And so they went and said uh, and met these people, and of course were violent, dressed in black like the ninjas they think they are. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And they, the worshippers, met them, and they said, "Quote: What are you mad about?" And we speak peace to you in Jesus' name. And one Antifa member actually went up on stage and grabbed the microphone and said, "All cops are bastards in the name of Jesus. Amen." Um, then they went on to pepper spray individuals, including toddlers and young children. During a church service. Yeah, during a church service. And they said, where is your God now? So, wow, I, that's pretty blatant. I mean, we've known that they hate Christianity for quite some time. And they also hurled chunks of concrete. So uh, we do have a montage clip of all of this going on. Worship event, and uh, Antifa just rolled in like an angry mob, started throwing flash bombs at everybody, macing everybody, rotten eggs at everybody, uh, black paint. Um, they threw a flash bomb into a group of kids that were out there um, from like four months old to like 10. Um, yeah, they were ruthless. So yeah, those are a few of the main clips there, and I'm not sure, I mean, we all saw the, the sound equipment that was being dumped over. They actually threw all of that sound equipment in the river. Isn't wow, <laughs> yeah, that uh, yeah. typical Antifa just running in, not asking questions, destroying anything that isn't a <laughs> far left uh, message. Anything that doesn't have a pride flag. Everything that, <laughs> everything that doesn't have a pride yeah. flag or BLM doesn't have a rainbow on it, on it it's toast. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, and they even were making threats before the event started saying, quote, you won't like it here, pastor, on Twitter, which is just amazing. And the police actually didn't get involved and kind of just let this happen, well, yeah. which is, uh, of course, no, which really. is like in Portland, the yeah. police didn't get involved. <laughs> well, I guess when half the you force half the police force to resign, I guess everyone else is kind of just like, well, good yeah. luck. You decided to live here yeah. now. Um, but we do have another video, and this is later in the day where they're launching fireworks at an intersection. So that's pretty shocking. That seems like something you'd see in like a third world country where people are running around lawlessly launching things into the air. Don't you think that's pretty ridiculous? The, uh, yeah, it, well, you sort of wonder what the goal of doing that at night is. The The thing with the church and the sound equipment and all of that is what's amazing to me. Because uh, Do we have any idea what it was about this group that, uh, why it was that Antifa targeted these people? I, I believe that there were some po politicians who went along with the group, um, but I think that because those politicians were going to this evangelical event, I think that that's kind of what drew their so attention. So that was their reasoning yeah. for when they could disrupt yeah. it. That okay. was their yeah. motive, but I think it would be wrong to discredit that this was an attack on Christ because these people were oh, literally sure, sure. saying, you know, um, where is God now? Yeah. Like, is Jesus going to save you? Like, those type of things. Um, so anyways, now we have this new pastor that, of course, is acting as the savior for the left because they don't have one, and it's yeah. Reverend 
Chuck Curie, and he claimed that this was not a religious exercise and it was not a worship group. And I think I have a tweet talking about this, one of his tweets. So he's, this is a Christian minister from Portland here. <laughs> this was no family Christian prayer event. It was a far-right political rally organized by a failed mega congressional candidate from California. Just assume everything Andy Ngo tweets is made up. So I saw that tweet and I and I a little red flag went off in my brain and I was like usually when the left is retweeting a pastor something's probably a little shaky or a yeah. little off there. And yeah. so I actually looked into this pastor in his church and uh, I have another I have another clip full of tweets and here we see what his church actually believes in. So we see the, the tweet on your left there that says that they're going for reparations now because mm. Of course. Um, I think that has some anti-biblical practices. No, no, no. Jesus was always calling for reparations. Oh, (laughs) yeah. Jesus was a socialist. I forgot. I just missed that section. (laughs) Um, Then you see the United Church of Christ, which is where this guy is a so-called preacher. And, of course, they have the LGBT flag behind it. And pride didn't end on July 1st. Come and show your community love, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know. I think I remember this one. This one rings a bell. Um, Pride's a sin, right? I don't know. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I thought that one was obvious, but hmm, I must be Well, be I don't know. I mean, if he goes by the Reverend Doctor Chuck, whatever it oh, is, yeah, Reverend, <laughs> Reverend Doctor. I, the the yeah. more, yeah, the more prefixes and initials after a name, the less you should trust the person. Yeah, this is um, it's a bastardization of Christianity and the faith. I mean, obviously, what he's saying is uh, they are driving for for one thing, essentially a homosexual agenda, which is completely unbiblical, um, wildly unbiblical. Uh, you looked like you were wanting to get in. No, yeah, no, I agreed with all of that. And it, the point that really sticks out to me is even if it were a far right event, a far right worship service. That doesn't justify what Antifa did. You know, they should all be arrested. Like that that's they have a political aim. They're seeking to use violence to achieve that aim. They're terrorists. And they're terrorizing yeah. the whole city. And all of these lefties, like this reverend, they keep trying to provide cover for Antifa because they believe in the cause. But, you know, these people are sick and demented and as all hell, and they just they need to be locked up. But unfortunately, the Portland police force isn't going to do anything because they have their hands tied because the city of Portland is as far left as it could possibly get. <laughs> 